Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I filmed a makeup tutorial. Sorry, my nose is really itchy. Also, I'm having a big earring moment. I think I like it. Anyways, it's been a hot minute since I filmed really a YouTube video, but also like a makeup video for YouTube. So I figured I'm in a new space, in a new headspace, you know, but a literal new space as well. And I was just like, I will film a cute little makeup tutorial Today is Tuesday. I've been filming lots of vlogs since I've been in my new place. We have lots to catch up on. I also am filming a Q&A either today or tomorrow. Anyways, I'm filming a Q&A either today or tomorrow, whichever, like whenever I have more time. Today's kind of gotten away from me, to be honest with you. It's been a wild day, but nevertheless. So I have lots of makeup. This is a little Jacquemus pouch that their purses come in, but I stopped by my house, my parents' house, because I'm in, in the process of like, moving things in slowly so I bought a bunch of stuff and it came in really late or it came in broken or it came in messed up or not how I thought it was going to be and it's just been a whole big process and I feel like moving in general is just a learning process this is my first time ever moving out but I love my little setup back here I love that I have a huge window in my bedroom I'm going to be doing an apartment tour um, a video for you guys is uploading literally right now as we speak on my laptop beside me and I just have lots of lots of new stuff going on. So I figured we would do a little makeup tutorial and catch up. Catch up? Yeah, catch up with you guys. So let me pull you a little bit closer. Okay, so this is how the skin is looking. My skin's been doing really good. I self tan last night. I have new hair, which is a sleigh. You may not be able to tell all that much, but if you head over to my Instagram, you can tell. Like I got significant, like it's it's a lot lighter than it was. And I just got a little bit chopped off the, do you see? A little chopped off the ends, so. Major sleigh on that. These earrings are Heaven Mayhem, which has been my favorite earring brand. Um, you can find them on Revolve. They're quite pricey, but I ended up ordering four or five pairs on Black Friday and they were 30% off. So I was like, major sleigh for that. But like I said, I'm beginning ready. Maybe at some point if I can shut up talking long enough. Uh, I just ran through one of these. The Say Super Glowy Gel. I went through an entire one in the sh one, uh, entire tube in the shade Warm Glow. This is in the shade Star Glow. And it's just like a neutral kind of shimmer. But I liked star, or I liked warm glow because it was a, well, it was a warmer color. So it was cute. So I'm just gonna put that on the high points of my cheeks. But I guess I can answer some questions right now. No, no, sorry. I'll just wait. I'll wait. But I'll kind of go over some of the stuff. So basically, what happened was I never really meant to take a break from YouTube. TikTok is very time consuming, and I signed with new manager or a new management agency um, in. August maybe I don't really know to be honest with you was it August I'm not positive I signed with a new management agency and a lot of the times for sponsorships uh I have a larger following on TikTok so they want TikTok posts which is totally understandable and like I guess I would also want TikTok posts since that's where I have the most following the most um engagement etc I'm just going to take this Tom Ford um foundation stick this is in the shade six five point six ivory beige I would never use this before but my face is a little tanner than normal because I did self tan and I use self tanner on my face. I'm low key kind of scared of this though. But anyway, so I signed with them and just been focusing on TikTok. YouTube, I don't really get paid near as much for. And so it's like whenever it becomes your job, of course you're gonna do things that um, pay you since it's your livelihood. It's how you pay the bill. It's how you, you know, make a living. So I feel like YouTube did fall to the wayside, but I want to get back into doing YouTube and I am getting back into doing YouTube. I've filmed four videos so far. So be excited for the content because it's on the way, it's coming. Um, but yeah, so that's that. A lot of times too, is like I would film a video, but honestly, I've just been going through a rough patch in life in general. Um, a lot has changed and gone on and it's just been really difficult to be honest with you. So I've been kind of dealing with all that and so I, you're just not in the mood to film. You're just not in the mood to be like, yeah, let me sit down and film this 30, 40 minute video on makeup and all this other kind of stuff whenever you're like, I really don't even want to put makeup on, you know? Also this little shirt I'll tag for you guys is from Princess Polly. I'm doing a collaboration with them. Uh, also on YouTube, Slay. So that'll be nice. So just, I feel like now that I'm in the apartment and I'm just, I can just be like, <sighs> you know, but like I said, tough times, it happens, I'll get over it. 
I am going to use this concealer. I've been loving this concealer. This is the Tower 28 um, concealer, and this is in the shade LBC. It's kind of a weird name, weird shade name, LBC. I'm just going to put a little bit on. I'm kind of going for like a more natural, pretty in-person makeup look today. So that's just kind of where I'm at. It's very gloomy outside, very gloomy. So I know if I wear like a full coverage sort of makeup look, it's not gonna be very flattering or pretty. I'm gonna take my double-sided Makeup by Mario brush and blend that in. It's a really creamy, pretty concealer. I like it a whole lot. So got my hair done in Georgia uh, this week. Since it's been December, it's honestly been a whole lot easier and better like mood wise life wise it was just november was literally the worst i'm not gonna say the worst month of my life but it was up there like definitely top three worst month of my life maybe top two um because i can't really remember another time that was as bad as that other than like last summer but anyway it's time a story for another day so it's just been wild but makeup slays also, I feel like for this date, I just kind of want to be, we're going to Knoxville, we're going to go to the mall, we're going to like walk around, have a cute little evening together. I feel like I don't want to be so fancy and like, I don't know, just like full beat. Like I just kind of want to look like me, you know, kind of just me, but better. Also, you guys, I will answer this because this was one of the questions from November where I was so stressed out and miserable. I had this, I've never been a cl jaw clencher. I've never been somebody who has issues with grinding their teeth or like any problems with my jaw whatsoever. Let me tell you, in November, apparently like all I did, like I would be sitting there and just clenching my teeth as hard as I could. And then I would realize that I was clenching my teeth and be like, oh my gosh, I have to stop this madness. So that was really quite something. So I was like, first my friend Brooke was like, she got master Botox for the aesthetic part of it. And I was like, well, I don't really wanna pay for it because it's expensive. I was like, I don't really wanna pay for master Botox whenever I don't necessarily need it. You know, I was like, I understand somebody with TMJ getting it or something like that. But I was like, I don't really necessarily need it. So like, I'm just gonna pass on it. Well, November comes and your girl's over here with the world's largest masseter muscles in my face, which if you don't know, masseter is right here. So whenever you clench, you can see it. Um. November rolls around. My master grows like four times in size. Even Chase was like, oh my gosh, you really can tell a difference. I was like, I know. So I ended up messaging the girl in Knoxville. Again, I get, I get, I guess everything. Well, not everything. I get her to do my PRP, my, she did my sculpture whenever she was in Lexington, Kentucky, like all the things. So I messaged her and I was like, I have to get Botox in my masters because they were growing and I would wake up in the middle of the night and I would wake up in the mornings and my jaws would just hurt. And it's so painful. Like, nobody talks about that. It is so painful. And I would sit there and be like, and like move my mouth all day long and try to get it to not hurt as bad. And so I was like, yeah, this is stupid. Like, I'm not dealing with this anymore. I'm going to go with the shade She Sculpted from Patrick Ta. Um, and then his little contour brush as well. So, anyways, I was struggling out of my mind with that. And I got that done. And it did slim my face, I think. And that wasn't necessarily the goal. Like, I was just like, yeah, sure, whatever, that's fine. I don't really care. But if you're interested, if you're like, oh, I have, you know, larger masseters or something like that, I do think that it can work for you. And it's also temporary. That's what I kept telling myself, too. I was like, if I hate this, if I hate the way that it makes me feel, if I hate the way that it makes me look or anything like that, like, it's temporary. It's just Botox. It'll go away in a couple months. Um, so, it's not that big of a deal. But so far, I don't have any more jaw pain. So... It's a win for me, you know? I'm just like, oh, okay. I wake up in the morning and don't want to cry because my jaw hurts so bad. I like this, but I do think it breaks me out. Like, every time I use it, I'm just like, also, I just kind of want to use everything on the warmer side today. I texted Brielle and was like, girl, I've been hating my makeup. Like, every day that I do my makeup, I'm just like, this is not, not the vibe. Not what I wanted. So, hopefully, today it turns out really nice. That's what I'm hoping and praying anyways. I am so thankful if you were a girlfriend or wife or mother, sister, whatever, of a professional athlete. I feel like you, unless you are in it, you don't really know what, you don't really know. You know what I mean? Anyways, it's so nice to have them home. Like, I'm so enjoying having Chase here. I'm so enjoying just waking up and being like, oh, I get to see Chase today. Like, he's not 
13, 15 hours away from me. It's such a nice and lovely thing. And so if you have your people with you all the time, even if they're busy or whatever, if they're coming home to you, it's just such a blessing. So count your blessings. Cause whenever he's gone, I'm just like, miss him. I have been loving, loving, loving this bronzer. This is from Sigma. This is the matte bronzer in the shade medium. This is what it looks like. And at first I was like, that bronzer going to do nothing for me, nothing. And then I used it and I was like, well, nope, she did something. And it's just the most beautiful little bronze that you get on your cheeks. And it's so pretty and so nice and lasts a long time. And it's very light and not, it's pigmented, but not hard to blend. So I love it. And then I'm going to use it with this Araceli. I think that's how you say Araceli um, brush. It's not necessarily meant for bronzer, I don't think. It says Grande Cheek Brush. But I just use it everywhere. I'm going to pat everything in with my beauty sponge again. I have little hairs all in my face. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the Patrick Ta. Two of his blushes because I watched the Alex uh, Earl makeup tutorial again. I have these two. The shade She's So L.A. And the shade She's Blushing. And with Patrick Ta's blushes, you're supposed to go in with the powder first rather than the cream. You lay the cream on top. Also, my duvet comforter is white, or my duvet cover is white, and so I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I have to be so careful not getting anything on it. And I do have a room that's specifically for filming and like my closet room, but I don't have it fully set up yet, so I was like, I'm not going to film in there until it's like done. Then for my eyes, you guys already know, I'm going to go with the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener in the shade Light Medium. This is my go-to. Is this Light Medium? Yeah. It's just so beautiful, and I love it. I feel like it just brings my makeup together. I always have it on hand. I have two in my makeup bag right now. Um, my biggest fear in life is probably running out of that, to be honest with you. And I'm going to go in with my Mario um, little brush and press that in. I also do think that the PRP that I've been getting under my eyes, so if you don't know PRP is the platelet-rich plasma, I have a video on TikTok about it. Um, you get your blood drawn and then they put it in a centrifuge, spin it, and then get the plasma from it. And then they inject it back into your face rather than it being a filler, um, under eye filler. I have done so much research about it and it is not, it's a very dangerous filler to get if you do decide to get it. And then also because that skin is so thin around your eye, it can really cause it to, like you can see the filler. Um, it's easier to migrate. It's not very safe. There's a very specific area in it that can make you go blonde. So there's just a whole lot of um, complications that can come with under eye filler. And like, I also am just like not that big of a fan of the idea of having that in my face. And so I um, have been opting for PRP and I really do think that I can tell a big difference in my eyes and getting it. I've had two rounds of it, <clears throat> excuse me. And from the first to the next, this. From the first round to the second round, no. From my before and after from the first time I got it is crazy. It's in that video on TikTok if you guys want to watch it. Or I can like um, make a video on here as well answering those questions um, it, that you have about it. But it just made me a whole lot more confident in my appearance. Because having hollow under eyes was always something that I was really self-conscious of. And I was just like, yeah, there's like no, no shot that I'm comfortable going out or having really hollow under eyes. So I love that I got that done and it was pricey, but it's something that lasts forever rather than having to get it done like constantly. So I was like, you know what? Same thing as my teeth. Like my teeth were really expensive to get done. If you don't know, I got composite bonding on these front six teeth from here to here. My canines were very, very pointy. Um, my teeth were very small, like teeny tiny small. And you just really couldn't even see them whenever I talked. And it was something that really bothered me and concerned me for a long time. And it just, like, de destroyed my self-confidence. So, whenever I got that done, um, it helped a lot with really my life. I was just really thrilled that I got that got it done. Um, so, that's that. But also, like, this is something else that I was going to talk about in the, in the Q&A. I just think that if I didn't have the job that I do, if I wasn't an influencer, there's no way that I would have done the things, some of the things that I've done uh, appearance-wise. Which I've not done a lot by any means. But like, you know, being online, showing your face all the time, you definitely get like new insecurities. People will make sure to tell you that you should have new insecurities. Whether it's the way you talk or 
your teeth or your lips or your whatever. Your whatever it is, honestly. Um, people just have an opinion about it, so. Unslay of them. But, nevertheless. I'm going to put them on blush, I reckon. I'll do the cream side of She's So LA and She's Blushing. And then Patrick, actually, I usually use a brush, but he uses his, uh, the other side of his beauty blender. So I guess in his honor, I will do that. And also I make up, like I said, to be pretty in the natural light. So I'm filming in natural light, but it's just one of those gloomy, like overcast days. And I'm like, oh dear Lord, please don't look hideous. I want to look cute on my day, you know? Anyways, Knoxville. We're going to Knoxville. And we're going to go um, downtown. So, on like Main Street, which is called Gay Street there. And we're going to eat at Chavo or Shivo, Chavo. I don't know. It's this little Mexican place. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's so freaking good. If you're ever in the area, go there. And then he loves... Like, I used to go to Knoxville all the time growing up. Because a lot of people... Like, I live in the, between Knoxville and Lexington. And so, a lot of people's families around here would just go to Lexington. Well, my family always went south. Like, we always went to Knoxville. So... I knew all the spots. I knew all the places. And I was like, this is fire, you know? And um, so I took him there and then now he loves it, which I just think is precious and cute. I'm just taking the e.l.f. concealer on my eyelids before I do any um, eyeshadow. Also, I think I'm going to go ahead and do my lips. I might use this. This is the Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine. I usually use this one, which is wherever walnut, but wherever or anywhere caffeine is a little bit more brown, like a little darker. So I'm going to see how I like it. Ooh, I do like that. That's pretty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pretty. I haven't been lining like the side of my lip. I don't really know why. I just haven't. And now I'll do the bottom like this. I'll go. Cute, cute, cute. I like that a lot. That's cute. And then I think I'm going to go in with the shade Mitza from Dior. It is this cute little, like, little mauve rosy nude shade. Chase loves, loves matte lips. I don't know why. He just does. And every time I wear a matte lip, he's like, oh, your makeup looks so good. Actually, I think that's a lie. I think he's never told me that my makeup looks good. He'll always be like, you look beautiful. You look so amazing. And every time I have more of a matte lip on, he always, like, is loves to tell me that he loves matte lip. But I don't think he's ever complimented my makeup specifically, which I kind of take as a compliment. You know, he's like, oh my gosh, you just look so good. I'm like, yeah, I do. It's not the nine hours I spent on my face. It's just me. Ooh, yeah. I'm putting some more of that star glow above it. And I think I have to make, ooh, about to drop my mirror, to make the line under my bronzer a little bit more crisp. I'm going to take that concealer again and just go a little bit below it. I would do this with powder. What the crap? I thought my eyelashes like were literally gone. I would do this with powder, but I didn't bring my powder in. It's literally in my car, which is kind of funny. Okay, now onto the eyes. So, I have lots of palettes. I have this little MAC palette that I made for myself a hot minute ago whenever I was in Chicago. Yeah, I made this in Chicago. Isn't that funny? With my friend, you know who, James. And then I have this one that Patrick Ta actually sent to me, which is called Major Dimensions. I almost said Major Slay. This is a Major Dimensions 3 palette. LOL. He should have named it Major Slay. Patrick, if you're listening... Um, so, let's see. What do I want to do? I think I'm going to take the, these two shades and mix those and just put them in my, all over my lid. as like a cute little matte shadow moment. And let them live. Why is this pulling so mauve on me? Like what? I'm gonna take my bronzer and put that in my crease because this is pulling so mauve. Okay, I'm gonna tight line my upper waterline with the black eyeliner from Hourglass. Also do think I'm gonna add some more blush. I just don't know what shade I'm gonna use. I might use this one from Rare Beauty. 
Then for my water or for my top lash line, I'm going to use these two, the Persona Cosmetics um, liners. I use the shade brown and black and then just mix them. Then I take my, you guys have seen me do this before, my little pointy brush from Makeup by Mario and Morphe. Go right above my lash line. I'm actually going to take this one, the Makeup Forever one. Also, if you don't have a makeup eraser, literally, okay, gone. And that's waterproof, okay? I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. It's phenomenal. I'm going to take the black from this, the Makeup Forever, and just go right above my lashes. I've been using brown, but honestly, I just think that black, obviously, it's darker. So, it shows up more. And makes a bigger difference and for your lashes I feel like that is like what you're going for that's what I'm going for you know I want it to show up I want it to look like I have a thicker lashes so we have that going for us and then for my bottom lash line let me smudge that out just a tad I kind of just like to blend everything out with my finger to be honest with you no harsh edges nothing like that Blend it all out. I'll go in with my bronzer on this little brush right here. Just a tiny bit and go in my lower lash line or my lower, yeah, my lower lash line. And kind of blend it out. Okay, major slay, major slay so far. I've been loving this, the, what is this? The dream coat, one coat, this is a one coat wow from Huda Beauty. I think I'm going to use this, but I'm going to do cream in my lower lash line first. Hmm. Okay. I can bob with this. I can get done with this. This is fine. I haven't used this mascara in a hot minute, but I was loving it there for a while. My lashes are stupid long right now. Like crazy long. Look at that. Holy crap. I've been using the Babe Lash. And then this one I got from Amazon, and I've been using it in my brows. And you guys, I'm telling you, it's been insane. Like, I'm like, almost need to cut back on the usage of it. Because I'm like, I could braid them at this point. And I do not have naturally long lashes. I've said that before, and I'll say it again. I love them both. And the combination of the two is insane. Like, that's literally one coat. Okay, so I'm going to finish up my mascara, my bottom lash mascara, and we'll reconvene. Okay, so I just put a little bit of the Rare Beauty um, blush in the shade Hope on my hand and I'm picking it up with this little dual ended brush from e.l.f. And just putting it on my cheeks. To hopefully bring some life back into my face because I feel like I'm just kind of looking drab. I don't know what it is. See, that's what I'm saying. It's like every time I do my makeup, I'm like, what is wrong with my face? Like, it just doesn't look how I, how I normally want it to look. But I'm also going to put on some bottom lash mascara. I'm just going to use my go-to for bottom lashes, which is the L'Oreal Telescopic in the shade Black. I do not like a very thick mascara on my lower lashes. I just don't, I don't think it looks good. Okay, so that is the mascara completed. I'm just gonna take my little nub of a liner in the shade, um, I'm pretty sure it's classic brown, a shimmering brown from Charlotte Tilbury and draw like a little baby wing And then, my, I'm telling you right now, like, my brows are just rambunctious. Like, they just, they just are rambunctious at this moment in their lives. Um, I think I'm going to use a little bit of this, the Wow Brow from e.l.f. In the shade Medium Brown. What is all over this? And I'm going to put this more so towards the front of my brows. Cause I like the little fiber things I think it has. 
and then towards the tail i don't know what the crap is on this cute and then same thing on this side i really want one of those true mirrors you know what I'm talking about? Like, have you seen on TikTok where it's like, all we see is like our reflection, not actually what we directly look like. So I would love to have one of the mirrors that shows me what I actually look like. But also I think I'd be terrified because the inverted filter on TikTok, if that, that people say that's like what it looks like. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. No, no, ma'am. I'd be terrified for all of the rest of my days. And then I'm gonna take this Patrick Ta brow product in the shade nothing it has no no name because it's clear it's clear brow now and i'm going to push these up and just get them to let over and hopefully stick where i put them normally i would use my anastasia beverly hills brow freeze but apparently i left that in my house because it ain't here it ain't here also side note if you guys are still watching this major slay second of all if you think that i have a celebrity crush could you celebrity crush what no celebrity look-alike could you please tell me who you think that it is because i keep getting hannah brown and i just don't think we even look alike i just think that maybe we sound alike and have brown hair and so people are like oh yeah like and they're from the south like they look alike i don't think that i've been stopped multiple times in person though it's actually funny this was in knoxville at the mall and multiple people were like you look so much like gal gadot and i don't know if it was just that day that I was looking like Gal Gadot, but everybody was like, oh my gosh, you look so much like Gal Gadot. And I was like, thank you. Because um, that was really right after the Superwoman or Wonder Woman movie came out. So, major slay. Anyways, I think this is the look. I think this is my final look. I know what I'm going to be going for. I'll put on some cute little jeans and some cute little boots and I'll just be bop around the town looking cute. Hopefully. But anyways, that's the final look. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was like a nice little get back into doing YouTube video, you know? So, if you did enjoy it, make sure to like and subscribe before you leave, and I hope you have a fabulous day.